Hello viewers, welcome to Cisco support community. I am Prabhu from the security and VPN domain of CSC. In this video, we will learn about the process of configuring a Cisco Adaptive Security Appliance, the ASA, to be accessed using the Cisco Adaptive Security Device Manager, the ASTM. What is ASDM? ASDM is a browser-based configuration tool designed to help in configuring and monitoring the security appliance. Following are the requirements that the ASA must meet to be accessible using ASDM. The security appliance software version must be compatible with the ASDM software version used. The hardware model of the security appliance must be compatible with the ASDM and the ASA software versions. An activation key that enables DES or 3DES is required. And finally, the support for Java plugin is mandatory. Refer to the Cisco ASA compatibility document for more information on compatibility. As explained before, the ASDM is a browser-based configuration tool. To access ASDM from a browser, you must meet the following requirements. JavaScript and Java must be enabled on the browser. The browser support for SSL must be enabled. The pop-up blockers must be disabled as it prevents the ASDM from getting started. Refer to the operating system and browser requirements table for more information. ASDM supports the following platforms Windows, Sun Solaris, Linux and Mac. Let's look at some of the features of ASDM. ASDM runs on a variety of platforms. It's implemented in Java to provide robust real-time monitoring. It works with the SSL to ensure secure communication with the ASA security appliance. It comes preloaded in flash memory on new ASA appliance running version 7.0 and later. ASDM enables multiple PCs or workstations to each have one browser session open with the same security appliance. It is supported on multiple hardware versions of Cisco ASA. The minimum software version required is ASA version 7.0. Before you can use the ASDM, you need to enter the following information on the security appliance via our console terminal. The password, the time, the inside IP address, the inside network mask, the host name, the domain name, the IP address of the host running the ASDM. And you must also enable the HTTP server on the security appliance. To configure ASDM access, follow these steps. The first step is to identify the IP addresses from which the security appliance accepts the HTTPS connections. Enter the following command for each address or the subnet. The command is HTTP, source IP address, mask and the source interface. The second step is to enable the HTTPS server by using the command HTTP server enable. By default, the port used is 443. If you change the port number, be sure to include the new port in the ASDM access URL. The third step is to specify the location of the ASDM image. This is done by using the command ASDM image followed by the image location. Let's look at a demo of configuring the ASA to be accessed using the ASDM. Let's enter the configuration mode by using the command config t. Now we are in the configuration mode. The first step is to provide the command HTTP followed by the source IP address, the subnet mask and the interface through which the ASDM to be accessed. The warning message clearly shows that the HTTP server is not enabled. Let's go ahead and enable the HTTP server. This command enables the HTTP server. Now let's provide the location of the ASDM image.
Now create a user with privilege level 15 for the user to access the ASDM. Now the username Cisco is being created with the privilege level 15 which we can use to access the ASDM. Let's access the ASA through the ASDM using the browser. In the address bar of the browser provide the IP address through which you will be able to access the ASDM. Now you will be seeing a security alert. Just accept the security alert by pressing yes. Now you will be seeing the ASDM screen coming up. Now choose the option run ASDM for the ASDM to be launched. It takes a few minutes for the ASDM to be launched. Just accept the certificate. Now click yes. Now provide the username and password already configured on the ASA. Now click OK. This takes some time and you will be able to see the ASDM screen soon. Now you are seeing the ASDM is loading the current configuration from the ASA. Now we have successfully accessed the ASA using ASDM and this is the home page of the ASDM. In the general tab you will be able to find the information about the ASA. Here it shows the ASA version, ASDM version and the firewall mode and all other information. To view the information about the license, click on the license tab which clearly shows the license being used on the security appliance. Hope this video was helpful to you. My next video will be on troubleshooting the issues faced while using ASDM. Thank you for viewing.